Hey dear nursing students, are you ready to explore the wonders of respiratory system? Whether you are studying in BSc nursing or GNM, this video is here to help. We know in semester based BSc nursing examination and as well as GNM examination, multiple choice questions are very important. You can crackle the complete mark in the sessions within seconds, but you need an in-depth learning. Here nursing guru will help you. We will give unit based multiple choice questions with their answer. Don't forget to watch the complete video. Let's start with the first multiple choice question that is visible in the screen. The first question is during the inspiration of diaphragm dash. So you will get four options and find the right answer. First one is reflex to become dome shaped. Second option contracts and flattens. Third one expands. Last one is shows no change. What is the answer? So we know that the answer is B. Means when you breathe in or inhale your diaphragm contracts and moves downwards. So we can move to the second question. Second question, here it is. The lengths are covered by dash. The options also you can see here the option first is pleural membrane, second peritoneum, third pericardium, the last one is muscle, which is the right answer. So right answer option A means each length is enclosed in a double membrane that is called pleura. I hope it is clear. So we can move to the third question. Third question also you can see here. The question total number of alveoli in the both lengths is. What is alveoli? The alveoli are where the lungs and the blood exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide during the process of breathing in and breathing out. So here you can see total four options. So you will get a 50 seconds time and find which is the right answer. So can you guess the right answer? So here the right answer is option D. So we can move to the next question. Lengths have large number of narrow tubes that's called dash. So which is the answer? So first we can check with the options. First is alveoli, bronchioles, bronchi and trachea. Which is the right answer? So the right answer is bronchioles. Answer or option B. So what is bronchioles? The bronchioles are the smaller branches of bronchial airways in the lower respiratory tract. So we can move to the next question. Are you ready? Okay, so here the next question. Alveoli of lungs are lines by dash. So different types of epithelium. Four options is there. Squamous epithelium, simple epithelium, cupodial epithelium and last one is columnar epithelium. So which is the answer? The answer option A. So next question, how many unpaired cartilages are present in the larynx? The options are 2, 3, 4 and 1. So which is the right answer? So here the option B means the 3 is the right answer. The skeleton of the larynx that consists of 3 unpaired middle cartilages and 4 pairs of smaller cartilage. I hope it is clear. So we can move to the next question. The thyroid cartilage of a posterior margin that forms superior and inferior horns. It is true or false? It is a true or false question. Multiple choice question and a true or false questions are common in your examination. Here answer is true. So next is the eighth question. The superior horn of thyroid cartilage is connected to which bone? So that there are also four options are there. Check with the options. First is vertebrae, next ribs, next hyoid, last one is epiglottis. So which is the right answer? So answer option B is the right answer. Ninth question, where does the arterial blood comes from those supplies to the visceral pleura? So here you can see four different options. First one is bronchial vein, second intercostal vein, the third one that is bronchial arteries and the last one the costal diaphragmatic recess. Which is the answer? So answer option number C. 
Okay, so next uh, that is the 10th question. What is the dry form of inflammation without a significant collection of fluid in the pleural cavity is called? So the first option intercostal nerve, second one pleura, third one pleurisy and the last option that is pneumothorax. Here the answer is option C pleurisy. So what is pleurisy? Pleurisy that happens when the lining around the lungs or the lining of inside wall of the chest swells up. This makes the two layers rub against each other and causing sharp pains. So what is pleurisy? Pleurisy also called pleuritis. What is pneumothorax? A pneumothorax is the collection of air outside the lungs but within the pleural cavity. I hope it is clear. So we can move to the next question. What are the innovations of the costal and peripheral parts of the diaphragmatic pleura? So here total four options are there. So which is the first option? Hydropneumothorax and intercostal nerves and bronchial nerves. So here total four options are there. So which is the right answer? So you will get a few seconds to find the right answer. Yes, the answer is option B. So we can move to the next question. So next question that is the 12th question. The respiratory system is made up of trachea, the lungs and the dash. Which one? So you need to fill this area. Four options. First is diaphragm, pancreas, esophagus and liver. So here the answer is diaphragm. Option A. We can move to the 13th question that is a true or false question. The question is that two lengths are the same size. Option, two options only is there true or false which is the answer. So we know that the answer is false means the option B. So the 14th question also same like a multiple choice questions. Dash delivers deoxygenated blood to the lungs. So here you can see four different options. First is pulmonary vein. The second one is iota, third one is left ventricle and the last option that is pulmonary artery. So which is the right answer? So without any doubt the last option pulmonary artery is the right answer. Your pulmonary arteries carries blood from your heart to the lungs. There are only arteries in your bodies that carries oxygen means the deoxygenated blood. Clear? So the 15th question, the inner layer that surrounds the lens itself that is called a dash. So in this portion you need to fill. So here also same like the previous questions you will get four different options. First is parietal pleura, lobar bronchi, pleurocardium and visceral pleura. So here the answer is which one? So you can find the answer and write it in the comment box. Okay, so here the answer is option D. So we can move to the next question again that is the 16th question from the respiratory system. Gas exchanges in the lungs occurs in dash. So the options are the first option alveolar sac, second is segmental bronchi, third is bronchioles and alveolar sinus. Here the option one, the first option is the right answer. I hope it is clear for everyone. Don't forget to write it into your notes. Okay, so next this is the time for see the another question. Which of the following supports of the epiglottis? So after learning the respiratory system, I know you have an idea about epiglottis. So here check with the options. The first option crocoid cartilage, second one thyroid, the third one ribs and the fourth one is lungs. So which is the answer, the right answer. So take a few seconds and find the right answer. Okay, the right answer that is option A. So move to the next one. Points where the bronchial enters into the lungs is, so here you can see four different options. So that it is visible here. So four options are there. So in this four options, which is the right one? So it may be the answer or option B. Okay, so I hope it is clear. So we can move to the last question in respiratory system unit. Place where trachea bifurcates into right and left bronchus is dash. So check with the options. Option 1 that is trachea, 
bronchi hyla sancarina so here four options are there you have to find the right answer so which is the right answer so we know that the option d is the right answer i hope it is clear for everyone okay dears these are the important question important multiple choice question from your unit respiratory system okay so definitely this video is useful for the bsc nursing first semester student and as well as the gnm student not only for the nursing students this is useful for the nurses who are trying to participate in government exam and ask like a competitive exams okay so if you have any friends don't forget to share this video with them and along with that if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe our channel and enable the bell notification so you won't miss any single video so see you on next video thank you